Manticotti, welcome to Danger Snacks. Thanks for finding your way here. Please check out other videos below and subscribe. Today on Danger Snacks, we're going to talk about a little something I call your boner, your problem. The story is inspired by this girl. When she showed up to school wearing a dress, and although this dress was longer than her fingertips and within the dress code regulations, and she had worn the dress without incident to school before. On that day, it was deemed inappropriate. And although then she changed and put jeans on underneath her dress, she was still threatened with detention. The dress code witch hunt is on, kids. And just like back in the days of Salem, Massachusetts, one of the targets for persecution is girls who incite lustful desire in men. How do we know that? Well, in protest to the unfair way that her daughter was run out of town by a crowd of presumably turned on and confused teachers, this girl's awesome mother decided that she was going to show up for high school graduation wearing the exact same scarlet letter dress. No one found that objectionable though. Because indeed, it is not. Because the mom, who is beautiful, doesn't quite make high school administrators as uncomfortable as her beautiful daughter. Bam! There it is. There's historical precedent here, kids. In the past, you get one guy in parliament with an ankle fetish, and whoa! We're all wearing long skirts down to the mud and we can't even walk. The problem is not that the clothes themselves are indecent, the problem occurs when the girls wearing them are too sexy. And since people in power don't like to be seen being turned on, and their peers and spouses don't want to see them turned on when it's inappropriate, the only thing to do is vilify the wanton, brazy hussy of a teenage girl instead of taking responsibility for their own boner. Girls are being asked to apologize for their bodies, and it has to stop. We're beyond the point of just suggesting standards of dress. We're to the point where we're making girls feel badly for having legs and boobs and butts. We're making them hide those things because we are uptight and uncomfortable. We should not have to apologize for the shape of our bodies. We should not be lined up evaluated and humiliated for other people's pleasure. This is not about the girls. This is about the people in power singling out the girls for having attractive female bodies. If you feel weird about the way you're looking at somebody, change you, not them. Your boner, your problem.